Hello friends, welcome to the Rebookery channel. This is Gina. It is Friday, December 29th, and it's about 8 in the morning. So I've got an idea for a layout that I wanted to do in my mega mini album here. And <clears throat> this is the album I'm working in. I think this is part eight. Um, I've read all of your guys' comments and I'm going to keep on going um, until, yeah, until I have to go back to work, which is Tuesday. So I'm going to go as much as I can and get as much done as I can in this journal. I am having as much fun um, as you guys are having. Um, I do apologize for the last video. My table was hitting the tripod, and so every time I touched something, it made the camera shake. So hopefully I solved that problem, and hopefully nobody will get dizzy or seasick. Okay, so today, <laughs> again, no surprise here, I'm going to document food. Now, I know it seems like I always document food, but it's just a thing that my husband and I, actually my whole family, that we just, we love food and we love good food and we love finding good food. So I originally thought I was going to use this Christmas card and I was going to put some pictures on the front and then it folded out and I would be able to put some Christmas or some pictures inside. But I think I'm going to change that a little bit. So this was a bag that I actually had at the back of this journal. This was a bag that my daughter had put our Christmas gifts in and I kept it because my daughter is absolutely hilarious. She's one of those people that she is so witty and funny like she doesn't even she doesn't even mean to be it. She's just that way like yeah she her sense of humor just cracks me up. So anyway she just wrote on here Jeebus and Bread instead of Gina and Brett. So I was going to actually put this in at the back of the journal and use it for um, a page when I did um, our Christmas that we had at the house. But I think I'm going to use it here. And here's here's why I'm going to use it. I had this crazy idea because this pancake house that we found was in Topeka. And I was thinking about what if I made a map and I showed where we started from our house and how we went to Topeka and we found these pancakes. And wouldn't this be a cool piece of paper to use for the map and yeah that's what I'm thinking that that's what I'm thinking I don't know if it's gonna work I, I'm gonna have to see so I gotta figure out how I want to I'm gonna have to play around I don't use paper sacks very often so I don't know the best way to uh, to go about this I'm just gonna start cutting now some of you guys have commented that you um, talk along with the video and tell me to do things um, and I think that is so funny and uh, so hopefully I'm listening and I, I can hear what you're telling me to do but I think I'm just gonna start chopping on this and uh, somehow get it to a usable piece of paper Cut that off. And see, doesn't this look kind of mappish? Okay, so I have, I have, I have, I have, I have pictures. Oh, see, so this would be cool if like it, it folded out, like you opened it up. And when you open this up, it folded out into this map. So I could kind of have it be, sorry if the crinkling is loud, kind of have it be like this. And actually that looks like it's gonna fold naturally there. Okay. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just cut this bottom part off and I can save that for something else and then okay so now 
Let me see about poking some holes in this. And if it doesn't work, we'll just go back and, I don't know, we'll make it work. We'll figure, we'll figure something out. Okay, so now, let's see how this works. Okay, so this would be and this, and then like that. Could I do it like that? Maybe. Maybe, maybe trim this off. And I'm okay if I trim it off and it's messy. That, that's totally fine, because isn't a map like, oh my god gosh, this would be like a treasure map, because let's be honest, pancakes are treasures. So yeah, this could be like a treasure map. So we want it to be old and crinkly. Yeah, that's good stuff. And I kind of like that. Okay, so I got to see what this would look like in, oh, good grief, I got pictures coming out. Okay, so it would look like that. So, open it up, do, 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 I'm just thumbing through here, oh, that's where that picture goes, do, 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 and I get to this page, and it opens up like that, yeah, that's kind of cool, so what I would do is I would reinforce, I'm going to reinforce those, um, those holes, because I can see that it's kind of pulling right here, and that's fine, I've got some little reinforcers that I could use, um, yeah, and then I could actually run a stitch along there too, because this can be totally, this can be totally, oh my goodness, I wonder if, because I was just going to draw, I was just going to draw like the map, what if I used my fancy new foot on my machine to draw the map? I could, I don't know if I want to. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I maybe I just want to do it right here. But I could if I wanted to. That's always something to think about. All right, so let me take this out and work on this. Now, I've already been thinking um, that I want to go and get one of my maps of... I have some old maps, Kansas and Missouri maps. Oh, I, had a, I honestly want to go get one of those. By the way, I had to put all my stuff in a baggie um, because the Christmas stuff was just all over the floor and it was driving me insane. So I packed all the Christmas stuff back up and this is, this is it. This is, this is what I'm using. If it's not in here, then I'm not using it. I'm gonna, I'll figure something else out because I am not getting the Christmas stuff back out. All right, so, hmm, okay, so what, back to what I was saying. I think what I want to do is maybe go get one of my Kansas maps that I've torn apart and see if I can find, because that would be really easy just to cut the pieces out and stick them on here, um, because here's what I'm thinking. I'm seriously tapping into my teacher brain here. So, uh, north, south, west, east. So we went west because we went to Topeka. So this is where we are down here. And then we went this way. Where did we go? We went up and then we went this way and we wound around to Topeka. So my trail, and this is such a loose interpretation. Oh my gosh, people, please do not use this as a real map. I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. So here is a tub of maps. And I think I have some maps that I've like torn up. Sorry if this is too close to the camera here. Um, ooh, this is Kansas. Ooh, okay, so this is a map of Kansas. So there you go. All right, first one I pulled out. So, let's see if it has what I want. There's Kansas City. 
oh, there's the word Kansas. Okay, so I definitely want this. Gosh, I hope I, I hope I can get everything I want off of this map. I like it because it's already cut up, and I don't have to cut into a a new map. Okay, so there's the word Kansas. I need there's Lawrence. Make sure I'm not cutting anything on the back. Okay, I need Topeka. There's Topeka. Good grief. I am all over the place on this. Okay. Okay. And then while we're here, it might as well just cut out Kansas City. I actually like this whole thing right here. We'll just chop pieces off and see if it works. I don't know. I'm just kind of piecing it together. Who knows? We may use it. We may not. Okay, so the only other thing, and I don't know if this will go far enough south. If this is India, any indication of how I read maps in the car, um, yeah, this is why. this is why my husband gets so frustrated at me. Okay. Wichita, I want, I don't think, yeah, no, it cuts off. It's not going to go to Missouri, so that's okay. We don't, we don't need to go to Missouri. We'll start in Missouri. Okay, and for those of you that don't know, I live in Missouri, but I'm right on the border of Missouri and Kansas, so sometimes I talk about places and people think they're, it's Missouri. It's not Missouri, it's Kansas, or, I mean, it's easier for us, even though we live in Missouri, it's actually easier for us to go to Kansas just because of the, how, the access. And if you live around, you know, big city, you know, or a, a city, you know, 10 miles can take you like 30 minutes, depending on traffic and everything. So it's actually easier for us to go over into Kansas. So, okay, so, hmm, hmm, hmm. Lawrence was along the way. Topeka was where we ended up. That's actually, I think I'm going to put that right there. Um, there's the Missouri River, which I like. Could actually just kind of put that. Ooh, I actually like that right there. Again, this map is not to scale. I'm totally just making this up, people. Just making it up. And then, yeah, and then the pancake house we'll put over here. All right, so we'll put, let's put Kansas City right here. I need some glue. I actually need a bigger glue stick, but I'm being lazy. So I... I have an obsession with maps. Like I love maps. And I love to draw maps, but oh my gosh, I I can't draw maps. So this summer I started a um a map of my hometown because there's just certain places that I went to growing up and then my kids went to and my husband is from the same place, so he went to those same places, and it's just, I don't know, it was kind of cool, and when I dream, I dream about my hometown all the time. I never dream about up here, living um, in Kansas City. I never dream about that. I always dream about living in my hometown, and so the this summer, one of the um, things I did was I made a map, I just drew a map, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so awful, like, my map drawing skills are awful, but it was kind of cool, and I drew, like, parks and stuff on there, and my old neighborhood, and things like that, and uh, my plan was to incorporate it into my art journal, but time got away from me, and I never actually finished it. Okay, so now I need 
And I think what I'm going to do is use, I wish I could find my China markers. But I love these. These are ones that Alice sent me. Thank you, Alice. So we're going to go peculiar. Okay. And so I think what I'm going to do is just really rough. Um, I think we'll just draw an X. And then just make this super messy because it already is messy. So I'm going to just add to the messiness. Okay, so the whole reason why I was doing this ugh, makes me mad. I'm going to cover that up and I don't want to cover it up. The whole reason why I was doing this, actually, you know what? I'm going to change Lawrence. We'll put Lawrence over here. Um, the whole reason why I was doing this is because, okay, so we had gone to Topeka to go to, of all things, you're not going to believe this, the <laughs> Evil Knievel Museum, which, by the way, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So this was the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And we've been to Topeka before. Topeka is actually the capital. But we've never, like, I don't know. I, I found a couple of thrift stores there that I really, really liked. But I don't know. It's a really big, like, land-wise, it's big. And it's really stretched out and stuff. And they have this um, area uh, called Noto. It's the North Town. And they've got this, um, they're trying to bring back some arts and local artisans and stuff like that. But anyway, so we just don't know enough about Topeka. And we had gone to the um, museum and we were hungry. So we know Lawrence. We go to Lawrence all the time. So we know like there's a lot of good restaurants and stuff in Lawrence. So we were actually headed out of Topeka, getting ready to get back on I-70. And um, as we're getting ready to exit, we're driving, excuse me, through downtown. And I saw this sign that said Pancake House. And I seriously said, hold up. Did I just see a sign that said Pancake House? And I kid you not, my husband turned that car around so darn fast. And yep, sure enough, there was a Pancake House. And not only was this pan a Pancake House, this was like, oh my God, you, I, I, I can't even, there's, I can't even explain to you what this was like. Let's just say I could have just stayed there all day long. It was unreal. It was unreal. Okay, so I like that. Let's see, we'll add a little bit of green. I have no idea if this is gonna work in my journal now that I've, now that I'm, gotta remember how to fold it again. Good grief. Wouldn't that be funny if I made this whole thing and then it didn't fit in my journal? That would be so hilarious. Okay, so there we go. Let's put a little, and then let's do this, and then let's do this. All right. Oh, and we might as well do this. Okie dokie. So, 
All right, so there's the pancake house. So now, <laughs> what we got at the pancake house. Okay, I gotta remember how this folds. I don't wanna put my pictures on the fold. Oh, good grief, did I just not do this? I just did this. Okay, this is how it folds. Oh my gosh, I know you all are probably screaming at me right now. Crazy woman, what are you doing? Okay. See, part of the problem is... Okay, this is going to have to be my fold. I've got to remember I can't put a picture on that. You know what? I don't like this. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to use this. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm going to glue that on there. Actually, no I'm not. Because that's wax-ish and I don't know that the glue will stick to it. So I'm going to use my tape runner. Okay, so let's put this here, and I know this is not a map of Missouri, but it's okay. We're going to use it anyway. And then let's go back and let's label this peculiar. Okay. Okay, so now, now it clears those holes, so that's good. That's what I need. Okay. All right. So, and then there's my Topeka. Okay. So back to this. So, the food. Okay. Well, when we pulled in the parking lot, it said pumpkin pancakes are back. So right there. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even. I don't need any more. Um. Description. Pump, pumpkin pancakes. That, that's all you need to know. So, pumpkin pancakes, ham, eggs. My husband got tenderloin, and you can see he's taking pictures of it. He's, he was actually tweeting it out, which he never does that. And then, the cool thing was, they had these cinnamon rolls, and they're, like, huge. And so, we got a couple cinnamon rolls to go. The next day... I, and sometimes when you get things to go, you're like, okay, well, it's not going to be as good as it was there. Um, the next day, I got that cinnamon roll out, and I put some pecans on it, and I put the maple, it came with this maple um, glaze. Oh, my gosh. Like, you, I, there, mm, there are no words. There are just no words for that because it was, it was sinful. It was beyond sinful. It was so good. I can't even imagine what it tasted like the day before because it was so good that day. Okay, I think we're going to go like that. And I'm just going to stick these down. Oh my gosh, stuff is falling all over the place. So we'll get those in there. Tenderloin in there. And the cinnamon roll. So we'll still, every once in a while, we'll say to each other, do you remember Hanover's? Oh, yeah. How could you forget Hanover's? Okay. I think my pencil dropped. There it is. All right. Since I did green over here, I might as well do green over here. So you know it's good when the ham is thick and this was a thick piece of ham oh my gosh and then I don't even know why I got the eggs I, I don't even know I guess I was thinking protein would make me feel better those pancakes were sinful they they were so good and they came with whipped cream on top and then a, like a cinnamon sugar sprinkle oh my gosh it was so good I didn't even need syrup I didn't even put syrup on them okay so there we go. Totally messy, but okay. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now 
The other thing I want to put on here is as we were driving out, this was the funny part because we were leaving Topeka because we were just like, okay, let's just go back to Lawrence and we can go eat at our pizza place or whatever. But as we were leaving, I just caught a glimpse of the sign that said Pancakes, Pancake House. So I want to, I want to document that. So I'm going to use my, see what I have left on these. This was a full sheet. And this is another tip when, when you're making something like a mini album or in your art journal, if you're wanting to keep like continuity between spreads, like maybe you're documenting more than one story and they kind of all go together, use something that's the same throughout. It doesn't have to be, you know, major. It could be like the little stars that I was using, which I actually could put some stars on here. It could be the same font or the same letters. Um, it could be the same background page. It can be one little element, one little sticker, or or one little way that you write the date that is the same all the way throughout. And then it just kind of brings a cohesiveness. So, okay, so let's do, see how much I can get off of this sticker sheet. All right, so we're going to do hold up. Hold up. So sounds like what my son would say. Um, let's go here. And I don't know how old these stickers are. Um, it says 2011, so I've probably had them for a while. So we're going to add some, we're going to add some stick to them. Hold up. Okay, and I also thought one more thing I was going to add, and I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but that whole, my whole button um, kit thing that I released yesterday, which by the way, thank you if you purchased one, they, I'm so excited to get them to you. Um, I spent all last night making little uh, fabric scrap paper packages to go with them because you know if you're going to have buttons you're going to have to have something to sew the buttons onto so I made these little packs and I'm, ugh, I'm so excited so um so the whole button thing got me thinking and I thought wouldn't it be cool oh I could put them right there wouldn't it be cool to put some big brown buttons here to make it look like um to make it look like pancakes I thought that would be kind of cool hold up um now I don't want, see the thing is, is I don't want to use these the whole time through. So let's put, oop, I don't want that. Let's put an exclamation mark on here. And then I think what I'm going to do is do something different for the rest of my, so this is one of those spreads where you don't have to do journaling. Oops. Your journaling can actually be your caption or your title that, that you're writing. Okay, hold up, and then I don't want to use this because I've already used it. Um, I could stamp it, but that's going to take forever. I don't know that I want to take forever. Ooh, what if I had... I could write it, but I've already written, and I don't want to write again because I've got Maddie's handwriting, and then I've got my handwriting down here. What if I used little stickers, little alphabet stickers? Let me see what I have. Right, so if I had something like, those could work. I might be able to find enough there. Ooh, I like these. Um, I've got some gray. All right, let me let me pull these out and see what see what works here. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I kind of like that gray because that's something different. And I kind of want this to stand out. Okay, so let's see what this does. Ooh, 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 ooh. I could. Yeah, okay, so here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the rest of that map, and I'll just stick my stickers on the map. And then that, first of all, I lost my eye. There it is. First of all, that um, gives me something to glue on because these are like dollar 
spot stickers from Target, so I don't know that they're going to have a lot of stick. Did that. Um, and then it also gives a little background so it pops out what I want to say. Did that. Sign. Did that. Okay. So I already added glue to it so I can just, just be able to stick the stickers down. Sorry if this is off camera. Did that sign. Oop, I need some more. Look, nothing goes to waste. Yeah, yeah. Did that sign. Let's go. Did that sign. Where's I? G. N. Okay. Oh, actually, it's easier if I just do it this way. All right. S. I. G. N. Now, I almost wonder, do I need to say Pancake House? Because I've already got Pancake House. What if I did an arrow? I could. Oh, okay, I think I'm going to do that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, sometimes things work out. And we'll just do, we'll just do black. Okay. Hopefully this is, oop, move this up a little bit so you can see. All right, did that sign say, okay, so I got two arrows there. Then I got this little finger that's pointing. We could do a different color. Oops. Okay. And then, okay, so this was one of my favorite stamps, but my dog chewed it up so there's little teeth marks in it. But, um,. I still love it and I'm still going to use it. I just have to ink it up really well to get the ink down in his little teeth marks. I think what we'll do is just put it right there. If you can't see, sorry, yeah, you can see his little teeth marks. And maybe. <laughs> oh, we'll put it over here. Ah, not on the tenderloin. Okay, that's not too bad. So now I'm just adding some, just some, I don't know, just trying to balance out all of the stuff I have going on here. Ooh, maybe I'll do a different color. So this is just kind of where I'm playing around.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got an idea. Okay, are you ready? Ho, ho, ho. Let me see. All right, I just got a crazy idea. So I have these brads <laughs> that are little cars. Oh my God, wouldn't that be funny to stick that on there? So I think I'll stick a couple of brads on there. And actually, I'm going to put one right here because that's us. Okay, that's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then I want to put a little sign here that says that this was I-70. So i got to figure out how I want to do that. Maybe I'll just put one car on because... Yeah, maybe I'll just put one car on. Some chipboard game pieces that I've just kind of had and I don't I don't really have haven't really ever used them because oh my gosh. Um cuz I I don't know, just haven't really had a had a purpose for them, but maybe this is the purpose. Okay, okay, okay. And I know I've totally gone off the reservation here, guys. I'm not using my um I'm not using what I told you I was using, which is only scraps. Okay, but that's okay, because you know what? Um, this has to do with pancakes, and when you do pancakes, there are no rules. Okay, so let's do... Okay, definitely we're going to do that one down there. So here's what I'm going to do, because this is so thick, I'm going to try to pull it apart. And the thing is, is that if it rips, I'm okay with that, because... It just will kind of add to the messiness. So, yeah, there you go. I think I'm going to try to get it just a little bit thinner. Peel off another layer. So chipboard is just literally boards that have been chipped together. And they're, they're just pressed. So you can, you can peel them off. They come off in layers and stuff. So we'll put that down here. Oh, gosh, is that not the best thing in the world? I love it. I love that I'm able to use these. Okay, so then let's put this sign over here. I hope this is on camera. So then we can put this sign over here. Maybe put it like up there. Uh, actually, I can get two out of this because I get the front and the back. So there's one, and now that I think of it, I'm going to have to do something to this back of this paper bag. It may not be strong enough. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. Okay. Oops. Don't want that one. Wrong way. Wrong arrow. Put this here. Actually, so kind of move it over a little bit so that I have a bit of a triangle there. So I'm going to take this over to my machine and stitch. I'm just reinforcing the holes. I did some journaling, um, just wrote some words on here. And as you can tell, this is like totally messy and that's okay i love it this ah this is exactly what i was envisioning now these are little paper reinforcers and these are actually um i have just regular ones but these are ones these are actually denison which is an old label company and so they have fabric they're actually made they're not just paper they are fibers they're fabric so this will hold really well and so I'm just adding some glue to them because the stick doesn't work. All right, guys, here, here's the finished piece. So I took it over to my machine and I did a bunch of stitching. And I didn't go to my free motion machine. I just did my regular machine and just did a bunch of straight stitches. And so here's what the backside looks like. And actually, I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me. Um, 
because who knows, I may put something on this side anyway. So I stitched everything down. I did some journaling, super, super messy, but I like it because it, it like this, this is totally okay. This was what I was going for. So now the true test, let's see if it works in my journal. So here's where I was going to put it. So we'll go right about there. All right, so it's gonna go like this. Okay, and then this gets folded and it would close. Oh, yes, all right, so let's check it out. Let's see if it works when we open it. Do, 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 do. And lo and behold, what's this? Open it up. <gasps> Yay! That is awesome. Cool. I love it, love it, love it. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me this morning and watching this really crazy, crazy process. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it, and I hope you guys do something really creative today. Love you. Bye.